Now see him. They don't arrest him again. They have arrested him again. <laughs> this guy was arrested few, uh, apparently arrested though, last week. And for me, I think that was staged. Now they have arrested Portable, allegedly assaulting a police officer. But this wasn't caught on tape. Why this guy just they like problem like this? Problem, problem, problem. Just they follow and they work out portable. <laughs> the other time, the arrest that I do not believe, or if it was actually arrested, or for me up to now, I do not believe portable was actually arrested. Honestly, I do not believe portable was actually arrested. I believe that arrest was staged. I believe that arrest was staged. Portable staged. The arrest, uh, the arrest of uh, last week, when he, when you saw him flying fence, and then they were unfounding him, I believe that arrest was staged because you know he's going to perform recently. But now I believe this one is real because the offense. There are photos, pictures of him, videos of him in police station. Apparently, he assaulted a police officer. Okay, now portable. One day you will go jail. Oh. But Brisky that felt he was untouchable is currently serving six months in jail. They might want to make an example of you. They'll give you close to one year in jail. And you know, by the time you go to uh, jail for one year, ah, your glory will almost don't finish. So, I don't know why. You keep getting yourself in big trouble, assaulting a police officer. Ah, but now, there are ways you can vest your anger, but not assault a police officer. Not assault a police officer. Ah, but. <laughs> and that be said, you know, we discussed about uh, Junior Pope, and I saw your comments. Some of you are saying, Zubi Mike cannot do this. I should forget about it. It's not like that. Okay, let's forget about Zubi Mike. I'm so, so happy to see uh peter will be visiting peter will be visiting zubi mike uh wives and uh kids you know just to show solidarity visiting him uh visiting uh he, he, his his widow and his children that was really nice you know it shows uh nigeria being a big family but you know these politicians they are not to get as it be <laughs> You know these politicians, their matter get as it be. And Nigerians, we see it as an avenue of them trying to showcase themselves again. Trying to form that they are good. You know, all those kind of things. Trying to show that, oh, we are, I am good and this and that, all those kind of stuff. But uh, all the same, all the same, guys, all the same. It's a good thing that he visited. You know, there are some people who, do, who never visited. But him having that thought alone and visiting. And meanwhile, talking about uh, Peter Obie, check out this news. According to Atiku, Atiku said if PDP decide that is the turn of the Southeast and Peter Obi is choosing, I won't hesitate to support him. You know, Peter Obi and Atiku visited saw each other no article hosted peter obi recently and they had a good time they enjoyed themselves i don't know what possibly they might have talked about maybe since labor party are passing through crisis of money you know being a nigeria po uh, political party there's all these issues about money most especially peter obi was the one that actually uplifted labor party to victory in some other areas well they are they have a little bit of dispute. They are discussing about money. Peter Obi might be looking into getting into another party really, really soon. And I think hosting Peter Obi, maybe, just maybe, just maybe, just want to have a discussion of possibly Peter Obi going back to PDP. But going back to PDP to do what? To, to be his vice? <laughs> well, we are talking about 2027. Atiku is still hoping to come back as the Nigeria president as a candidate in 2027. Uh, 
Well, there is this normal saying, if as first you do not succeed, try, 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 try again. And as long as you have life, keep aiming for the top. You know, <laughs> well, if there is such saying, I wouldn't want to blame Atiku for going to try again. But Peter Obi being the vice, you know, apparently, Wiki was the one that frustrated Peter Obi to leave PDP. It was already something that it was already something that has been planned a long time ago. It's like the way they plan it, and it was destined for Tinubu to be the president. Because if Peter Obi was still in PDP and agreed to vice Atiku, huh? agreed to vice Atiku, which is not even possible because it was already we we already had a president from the north ah uh, we already had a president from the north so the next president of nigeria should come from the south south or the middle belt so it wasn't really possible for atiku to emerge the winner of this presidency it wasn't really possible because how would it have been if you had already had the president from the north, now having another president from the north for another eight years, 16 years combined, Baba, me say no grill. So I do not know if Atiku hosting Peter Obi is to convince Peter Obi to come to PDP and be his vice in 2027, which I do not know if it's a if it's a right idea or not. But I'm going to see how politics plays. We are still in 2024. We have 2025, 2026, 2027. So it's still very, very long. May God keep us alive. So it's still be witnessing everything. According to what Atiku said, he said, I have said it repeatedly, and I even said it before 2023, general election, that if PDP decide to zone the president ticket to south or southeast, specifically, I won't contest it. As long as it's the decision of the party, I will abide by it. But I contested the 2023 presidential uh, ticket because it was thrown open to all members of the party. It's just normal friendly meeting. Okay, it was asked why they hosted the meeting. He say it's just normal friendly meeting that we often have, particularly among us in the opposition party. Such meeting are healthy for Nigeria democracy and in country's interest. On whether, on whether this will bring about a merger, I said, yes, it's very, very much possible. We can merge to achieve a common goal. So it's possible and nothing can stop it if we wish to achieve that. Okay, on that, uh, the former vice president denied the choice. Okay, said, uh, the former vice president denied the, the choice of presidential candidate might frustrate the major decision. He said, that's not true. The challenge will not rise. I can tell you that the choice of who will fly the flag of the party won't be an issue. Well, if they're trying to merge, good for them. Now, let me now go back to the issue that I was addressing about Zuri Mike. See, like I said before, I see stand on it. Zuri Mike, for me, was reluctant to come to that party. How can you wear red to to a barrier and you know the normal outfit is black that is the normal outfit if you wear red red signifies another dimension of things another dimension of things it signifies it so it's a great danger fight you know hunger and so many other stuff like that i still think Zobi michael shouldn't have wore that if really wanted to come and pay respect to junior pope he shouldn't have worn that at all and meanwhile, condolences to uh, Portable, who just got himself arrested again, like I've said before. Well, the guy keeps getting himself into deep ish, deep trouble. He needs to be very careful because they might decide to make an example of him if he keeps doing all those crazy stuff. Honestly, you no, know, that's how we say, oh, it's impossible for uh, Bobrisky to go to jail, to go to prison, but where are we now? But basically, they chill for his eyes. So nothing is possible now. He needs to be extremely careful. He needs to get himself straight. If not, eh, by the time they lock him up, people will definitely forget portable. 
There is no body that Nigerian cannot forget. There is absolutely no one. You cannot be big enough and think that nobody can forget you. The way they go to forget you, say you go to wonder, were you even existing before? They can forget anybody. And you should be careful. And if you decide not to be careful, who knows? Maybe they don't table a matter. It takes just, it not be even the, from the hub self, they go even mind that. It takes just uh, some few ranks to say, okay, you know what? You assaulted a police officer, you are going to court. And if there is video proof and they drag the matter, the judge would say, okay, you are sentenced to three months or one year in jail, in jail without option of fine. Bam! They lock him up. Portable, not able to sink for one year, go cry. Eh? It seems like jail, jail, they draw portable closer. Jail, they draw closer. You have a show. For the first time, you were granted a U.S. visa. For the first time, you were granted a U.S. visa. U.S. visa, no, they play. Well. By the time they jail you, you will see it will be almost impossible for you to go to U.S. or go to Canada, all those kind of stuff, because you are ex convict. The ex convict who assaulted the police officer. So possibly, if they allow you there, you might decide to also assault that police officer. This guy is just throwing his, his almost his life away. Honestly, I don't, feel, I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand so much. A new class. Come on, man, portable. You should know better now.